Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Temple of Elemental Evil. I'm Professor Charisma, and yes, I'm back. Last time we left off, we beat the shit out of Lareth's guards, and I'm lagging horribly, but that doesn't matter. So, uh, I've actually done this bit before. I'm gonna be honest. But I didn't record for some reason. Never mind all that. It's time to kill us a boss. Well, I say a boss. It's gonna be fucking easy. So yeah, I've lost a good bit of an hour of recording. Thankfully, I make backup saves. Yep. Oh, feels good when things go according to plan, which they didn't. So it didn't feel good. Cool, with Cat's Grace, you will... Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't, I don't give a crap. So, yeah, I'm a bit frustrated at the fact that I lost the stuff. Uh, we're gonna make Cool be first. So I'm just a little bit out of it. Oh, God, I love Koo. Eat this! Uh, <clears throat> you do a spell at this point? Nope. Alright. What can you do? Nothing. So, what's he gonna do in response to these hits? He's gonna miscast the cunning motherfucker. Oh, she's still holding a charge. Beautiful. He's near death. He's disabled. He is dead. He is right now, he is dead. All right. Yep. He is. He is fucked. Genuinely fucked. Pick all this crap up so you can sell it. Leave the mace because the mace is shit. Pick up this book. That's his diary. We're gonna have to read that if we're gonna try and make it to the next town. Otherwise, you'd be completely fucking lost. All right. So, how's everyone been doing while I've been away? I've had issues. <laughs> Mostly with school and yeah. Mostly school. Mostly school. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Funny little thing. So, what's everyone think of Overwatch? I don't know why I'm talking about it. I don't even have a PS4. It's not like I can fucking play it. I know his math did a hell of a job as McCree. It's high noon. It's high noon somewhere in the world. Now, why am I doing this? I'm supposed to read his diary. Oh, fuck's sake. I keep forgetting I gotta drag it over. <clears throat> Chapter 1. In my effort to help this Let's start over. Chapter 1. In my effort to help restore Loth to her rightful place of power, I have come to this place, once a thriving center for evil, for the hated Zuxmoy, now a vacuum of raw power in need of new leadership. Loth has entrusted in me to recruit former members of Zuktmoy's temple. I must act as a member of the current temple, committing to help raids against the locals and supplying the occasional recruit. So I have arrived at this forward establishment, ready to help renew the temple to power, while secretly recruiting for my mistress Loth. Chapter 2, in which I describe how I made this place livable. I cannot live in this foul place of decay. My first order of business was to dig out a tunnel near my quarters so that I can surface as needed. I have been able to make my quarters quite comfortable now, as our raids have brought in many fine linens and even rare furnishings. I have now been able to set guards about our location as well. 
First, I put those slimes I gathered from the temple at the staircase. They have caught many unsuspecting adventurers. Then I recruited those gnolls, but they were far too unreliable. So I found Lubash, a perfectly loyal ogre. Everyone fears Lubash, and he keeps the main entrance secure. As long as I keep him adequately supplied with human flesh from captured prisoners. Now, in my spare time, I've even been able to create zombies from some of the dead as extra guardians. But the perfect camouflage has been those careless bandits living above. Anyone who comes out here to investigate will find and destroy them, thinking they have cleared the area of its evil. <laughs> if they only knew. Chapter 3, in which I discuss our guests from the temple. Chapter 3. Recently, our visitors from the temple itself have increased in number, so I have decided to log them here. I have been careful to receive no guests here from Lolth, but I carefully meet with the spies beyond this dungeon. At first, the visitors from the temple came rarely, and only for a quick report. But recently, their numbers have increased. I think the temple is rising again, and so their efforts have increased as well. I do not know where these messengers come from, but they all serve the Black Lord of the Fortress. His power is growing, and I must move quickly if I am to establish Lolth in command here. I cannot allow that meddling Ayus, or even those still loyal to Zuktmoy, to get in the way of Lolth's resurgence to power. In which I discuss my plans for domination of Homlet and beyond. My raids have already compromised Homlet, and it will not survive much longer. The temple has already planted spies within the town, and if it were not for Burn and Rufus, we would have control of it already. Still, it is imperative that we move quickly to strike down Burn and Rufus before they complete that castle of theirs. The time is right, and it will not be long now before we can move directly against the town. Once my men have taken control of Homlet, those remaining in the temple will see my power, and will move to join me quickly as they see the might of Larith the Beautiful. Then my mistress can return in triumphant glory to the seat of the most hated enemy's throne of power and rule once again. That's it. Now I'm going to tell you right now, throw this damn book away. You don't need it. It's worth for nothing else. Now we're going to go and identify these items and head to Nulb. Where we will rob a blacksmith of his magical items and, um... Something else. Yeah. Shall we bought us? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sell the stupid boots. Identify the breastplate. And the ring. We want the ring. Fuku. And the breastplate. Yes. And we want to sell absolutely everything else. Yep. <sighs> Take the damn thing. Alright. Anyone else got anything to sell? Nope. Sweet. Down map. Do -do 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 -do. And this is no A rundown little village. Oh yeah, we get to meet the gay pirate here too. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. Then we get to... Oh, the grandma. <gasps> Fuck it, I'm making a visit to the grandma first. Oh shit. Trust me, you'll get it all. All in fair time. I think she's right at the end here. I think... I can't be sure. But I think she's right at the end here. Yeah, yeah, she's she's right here. Oh yeah, oh fuck yeah. She's gonna tell us where the temple is, but never mind that. <clears throat> Grandma, welcome home. You've been gone for far too long. Oh, let me 
help you out of the chair, good good grandma. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know why, but anytime I see her, that that song just fucking pops into my head. Welcome to Mother Scrang's herb shop. How may I help you? You look like someone who might know what's going on around here. What can you tell me, Grandma? Oh man, I might know a thing or two, but I pretty much keep to myself around here. And you would be wise to do the same around here. I cleared out that moat house and there was some pretty evil stuff lurking down there. Something must be stirring. Ah, so you are the one. I have heard of you. Now don't go stirring up trouble. But there are rumors of evil returning to the old temple of the elemental evil. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Your path lies in that direction, I think. Now, good luck. All right, Grandma. Thanks. Oh man. Oh, I don't regret this at all. Oh, fuck me. That was awesome. Right now, let's go rob this blacksmith. That's right here. Don't worry, we're chaotic good, so this does nothing to our alignment. <laughs> That's why you always pick chaotic good or neutral good characters. So yeah, right here you can see the anvil is not empty. That's the blacksmith, and we steal from him. You, he has a magic long sword, a magic chain mail, five amber, and two blue sapphires. Now he's gonna start a little talk, but I don't know what he sounds like. My equipment! You were the one who stole my magic long sword and chain mail! I sure did. What are you gonna do about it? He's gonna initiate a fight with us. Cunning git! Alright. What do I do? Melf's acid arrow? Sure. Acid damage! It hit! I'm honestly fucking surprised at that. No, not chill me metal. Uh, I can't see. Conjure up a small fire elemental. Right behind him. Yep. Die. Ooh, sweet. We getting that damage in. Oh, the bear is getting an attack of opportunity. Should Ku get an attack of opportunity? Nope. Why is Ku not getting an attack of opportunity? Oh, because it's not his fucking turn yet. That's why. Oh, what do we do with you now? Web mirror, nah. None of that. Magic piece. Yeah. He's injured. This guy has a lot of HP. That reminds me, aren't you able to recruit him so he could go with the, to the temple with you? Yeah, but he takes like 50%, doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't even matter. Oh, but before I get to the temple, I really, really need to... Wow, he's near death. Oh, I need to level up more, like at least once, so I could get the fireball spell. Ah. I'm sure we'll I'll end the episode soon and I'll, I'll grind off screen. That's a smart move, right? Alright, now what does he have otherwise? I don't re I don't seem to recall that he has anything actually interesting on him, apart from money. Ooh, battle axe. Yeah, I'd be completely right. Sweet. Now, he does have ma a magic chainmail and a magic longsword, which we will inadvertently go and... That's the temple. And, uh, identify. Oh my god, that almost scared me again, but I expected it this time. That happened before. Son of a bitch. That writing. I swear to god. It's way too fucking loud, man. Man, it is too loud. Alright, so we will rest here for a good while. Uh, it's 3.53. It's still not morning, huh? Yeah. Alright.
So yeah, you can see right there that I've made various saves. So yeah, when we come back folks, I'll see you then. Uh, Professor Charisma out. Oh look, that's still there. Uh, yeah, Professor Charisma out, bitches.